This is a new sound and a new way of life for the people of Ebai. Clean, healthy water. Ebai is the most densely populated island in the Marshall Islands and had never before had clean, running water until now. The water comes from here, a state-of-the-art water treatment and sewage plant providing up to 430,000 gallons of quality drinking water to the people of Ebai every day. It is better than you know, water that is uh, uh, harvested, uh, rainwater that is harvested. I can confidently say that it is also better than the water that we have at the military base. For decades, that's where most people here found their water, the U.S. military base on Kwajalein Atoll, a 30-minute ferry ride away. But the new water plant isn't just about convenience. It's about health and safety. Ebai has dangerously high levels of waterborne diseases, but medical experts are seeing a reduction in strains such as diarrhea. We are not seeing it uh, like uh, in the year 2016-15. We have uh, plenty of diarrhea cases. Now very much that the diarrhea load is very going down. Dr. Thien says the long-term health impacts of the water plant will be immense. Water is very, very important here because water is our life here. It's very hard time when we start working here. We cannot get water on island. So we have to go to gorge and fetch the water. It's a problem. Now we don't have much problem. We always see people fetching the water all the time, day in, day out. It's very helpful. It was very critical that the people of Ebai had uh, access to safe drinking water. In order to have a healthy populace, the most critical component of that is this access to safe drinking water, which simply did not exist before this project took place. The plant was jointly funded by the Asian Development Bank and the governments of the Marshall Islands, Australia, and the United States. I, I just think it was a good partnership from the beginning, and it was hopefully something that we can build upon in the future, because without this type of collaborative effort, I don't think one donor would have been able to step up solely and fund a project of this magnitude. So this project, uh, I think it really helped open a lot of eyes throughout the entire region on what can be done when everyone's working together. Eventually, the plant will be hooked up to Ebi's water grid, meaning clean, reliable water can flow from household taps across the island. For now, though, safe, clean water continues to flow here. and there's enough for everyone.